It is your first time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Like this with all, everyone uh, online, yes. Good morning, you. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, How are you? <laughs> Good morning. Great. Good. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe you can start introducing yourself and then... Hello, it's nice to be with you. Our workshop is the third workshop from the University of Nicosia. It's a cognitive mapping. So what we're going to be doing is um, investigate a little bit the process of mapping and understand its agency um, as a way of affecting the way that we manipulate space and create space. So it's not going to be just uh, representing what is a two-dimensional interpretation of the area, but actually allowing other things to appear of the everydayness of the way people uh, inhabit space, of patterns of inhabitation, uh, and things that might happen temporarily uh, in order to find ways to uh, rethink of that specific site and come up with a proposal. Um, maybe, Georgius, you want to add something? Yeah, I would more? like to add that this is related also to our unit thematic this year where we teach the fourth and fifth year students. It's called Living Where the Material Matter Towards the Common. Therefore, we would like to uh, raise awareness of uh, our students, future architects and of people about the notion of uh, the right of the people to the city, about the notion of the common. Therefore, uh, when they're designing, they have to think about inclusion. Uh, we would like to uh, ask our students of this workshop to create their own avatar and experience uh, Size of transition, size of uh, transportation charges, ports or train stations, bus stops, etc. And by borrowing the avatar that they will create, being a, a person with a kind of impairment or an elder person or a kid or with a disability of vision, etc., to understand the uh, difficulty of all the people participating in a kind of a public space, therefore designing for specific groups of people. Okay. <laughs> so I have a wood work. Learn things to cut. We have a lot of things to cut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so nice to meet you. And <laughs> we will be in contact in the workshop. Yeah, okay, we will see you great. soon then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Maybe you want to add something to this interview, like your expectations about the workshop? Well, let me start saying uh, generically, we're very excited about this workshop um, at the University of Universities because, you know, we've taken this extraordinary, seemingly very difficult kind of set of circumstances and it's been turned into this amazing opportunity for us and the students to transcend, let's say, the physical boundaries of where they're studying. And I think this is a, an amazing concept that we look forward to. Uh, in terms of our workshop, obviously, uh, the title is Cognitive Mapping. Um, what is the meaning of cognitive mappings for you? And all I can say by cognitive mapping, uh, what we're very interested in is for students to understand the act of mapping beyond the cartographic maps as we all know them. And cartographic maps mean um, you literally a translate, you represent a dimensional reality of the world. Whereas cognitive mapping is something much more complex, much more abstract, and it will enable students to uh, perceive and understand the world really differently. And by cognitive maps, one assigns preferences, and most importantly, they see opportunities. Meaning, a cognitive map becomes a speculative map. 
one which may generate opportunities for architectural intervention. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. And we'll see you very soon. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.